Hello guys and um, welcome back to By Chewing and uh, Drift. Today we're going to be doing a 1959 Eldorado Birazzi convertible Cadillac. <laughs> um, I've got this idea from when I was doing a, <coughs> a commentary with uh, Red Platinum. Um, he's from Australia so we was kind of doing the commentary I think uh, late hours of his time and about one in the afternoon for me but he's drifting one in B class so that gave me an idea to do it for um, this let's put the I'm just gonna I want to increase the power just knock up the power this is the boring part that you guys have to watch if you want you can just skip the video forward blah 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 skip out the commentary yeah yeah yada and just get on with the drifting of it but if you're interested in um, how I tune it what parts to put in it's pretty much the same on every other car do there's no point in putting a roll cage in it I don't bother we don't need a differential I never use them because we're only doing that I don't know why people put bumpers on this it's absolutely retarded but I'm gonna leave the wheels as they are for now right just change it up just I'm gonna put the tire pressure up to 50 do that and just knock the gearing about. Alignment, put two on the front, two up there, Oop. and do three. Raise the camera a bit, just soften the suspension. This is the boring bit of it, it's not really the fun part, but you have to do it. It's part, part of what I'm doing for my series, so um, I'll be linking the um, tunes up in the description if you guys don't want to keep pausing the video, blah blah blah, doing all that. Um, I'll put it in the description for you guys to do, and um, hopefully that's better. Right, we're going to do Iberian Full Circuit. Ooh. So, um, my phone has decided to crash itself yet again. I am gonna blow my phone up to pieces. I literally hate the f blooming thing. It's been crashing on me all bloody day, and it's ready for getting its to pieces. Anyway, let's get going. Oh yeah, and I'm doing the uh, clutch in this one. <laughs> Look at my guy in the little big ass car. I'm going to put more camber on the rear wheels. Yeah. Oh, this thing is so heavy to drift. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple of laps of this one, although it's just going to be quite a short video. It means I can do fine tweaking if I need. But it looks a bit the gears need tweaking. Oh, we're going wide. Oh, can we keep the drift going? <laughs> we're going wide. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right, we're good. Ugh, such a wide car. If you do drift from these, um, just be careful when you go around the corner because it will pull wide. It's such a big car. Good car to drift on. By the looks of it. Yeah, I need to play around with the gearing. Bit of game freezer. Ugh. Ah, they are just heavy. Proving the challenge to actually get it around the corner sideways. Uh oh, I think I've gone too fast into this corner. Yep. Ugh, bloody hell. This thing is atrocious to do. Perfect, like, it's perfect to get in sideways. It's easy, you can do uh, control. Pop. Blah, 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 blah. Do control. Perfect, we stop there. 
but yeah, it's quite an easy card to um, control. I don't really do real wheel drive, so you have to mind the fact that my gearing doesn't absolutely horrid. If you know how to do your gearing on it, um, uh, do it yourself or go off the one I've done. It doesn't seem to want to drift at all. Alright, let's see if we can get around this pond without going off this time. I think I might have to kick the front wheels, maybe. Yeah, let's try kicking the front wheels out a bit more. Just gonna smash that up to five. Smash them all up to five, I got it. Oh, that's much easier to drift. Yeah, I think I'll do it like this. Um, tell you what, I've released this video as it is, but I'll probably update the setup once I get used to it. Um, if you want to tell me if this video, this one there is absolute rubbish, if you like it, leave a like, if you don't dislike it, so I know I can just sod this one off and um, stick to the cars that are more easier to drift and more lightweight or just drift something really insane like a uh, transit van or a Hummer or SVT Raptor. Pick the car you want and um, I, should, I should do it. Oops, I spot it. So I'll tell you what, guys, because this episode has gone on for too long, um, I don't want to bore you guys. I want to keep it nice, short, and simple for you. So I think for now, um, I'll be going for now, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, adios.